Making an underwear or panty is quite easy. Using this method, you can make a panty for kids, small girls, for older women or anybody. The measurements that you need are waist, hip line, height or length, side and thigh. You can also use a ready-made underwear to measure or make a pattern. I'm making, making a pattern, but uh, if you want, you can directly draft on fabric and cut it. The bottom side is folded and the middle part is also folded. We are cutting front and back together. Take the total height or length nine and a half inch you can keep it ten and a half inch if you want it till navel keep one and a half inch up for elastic casing width is hip one fourth of hip plus one inch bottom is one and a half inch though I marked it two inch initially but my experience is one and a half inch is good enough. Side three and a half inch after the elastic measurement. Bottom you will keep one and a half inch if you want it. Want this panty? Good. Okay. Now join both the markings. The bottom one and the side marking. Using a curvier scale or a straight scale mark midpoint on this line go half inch inside and half inch outside give it a curvier shape the outer line can be half inch or quarter of an inch out and shape it. The middle point is just for taking the curves. Now go quarter of an inch from the side and shape from the side. Cut the outer line. From sides. From top. If your tummy is more than your waist or your hip, then make the required adjustments. Then the height or the length of the panty would be more. Keep this point in mind. Once it is cut, open and now we cut the front side of the panty curve which is deeper. Using this pattern, you can make different designs or you can increase the length or width in different sizes of your panties. Now I show you elastic that will be inserted for the waist. This is one fourth, one fourth of an inch elastic that is quarter of an inch. The waist size is 28 inch. I take 24 inch length of elastic. That is 4 inch less than the waist. Reason that thinner the elastic, it can be stretched more. Keep the pattern and cut your fabric. If you are using hosiery fabric, t-shirt fabric or any fabric in bias or that can be stretched, then use the same measurement, the pattern measurement and cut your panty. 
but if you are using cotton straight length fabric then use or make at least 1 inch side margin and keep 1 inch extra length or extra fabric on the top. On the bottom side of this underwear we need 3 inch wide fabric for this double layer. Here you pay the attention that this wide 6 inch wide fabric should be long enough to cover the curves of your panty. I will stitch this underwear using my Usha Jerome Stitch Magic sewing machine. I insert the thread and I will show you some cool tips how you can using Pico foot you can save your time and make beautiful Pico or roll hem on the thigh thighs of this panty or the sides the curvier side. Okay. So, the setting is normal, the straight stitch and initially we use straight stitch, you can use any sewing machine, we can, that can straight stitch to make any dress or this dress. So, first in the middle of this panty, we stitch this 6 inch white fabric. Keep 3 inch each side, back side of the fabric up and see how it is placed. Make a straight stitch. Turn it and fold it, make a stitch along the sides and this is done. Your double layer is done on the bottom of this ladies panty. Though you can make an underwear for anybody using this method. Now from the sides, the thigh side, make a stitch just to keep this layer in place. You can see there is extra fabric left which we don't need. So we cut this extra fabric Be careful that our stitching line is not touched with the scissors Likewise, the other side of this panty will also be stitched. Now we change the pico foot. This is the presser foot that we remove. And this is the pico foot 
that we insert Pico food comes with the machine and if you want to know more about this machine I will give a description in the I'll give a link in the description so it is fixed and we can do one thing either we can si stitch the sides of this panty and then we can do the pico on thighs or we can pico the thighs and later on we can stitch the sides so first I am picoing the this thigh curve in the earlier video I had shown you in detail how to pico using two methods either you can go to that video and check that out or you can simply follow this method that is shown here you have to slightly curve your fabric up and the machine foot the pico foot will take the fabric and it will be nicely done the other thigh curve will also be pico like this it will save your time and efforts to use a bias tape but if you don't have this machine you have a straight stitch machine you can use a bias tape or uh, you can also use some lace on the thighs on your panty okay so I changed this uh, foot back to presser foot that is straight stitch or zigzag foot In fact, you can zigzag stitch using the straight stitch. So, back to the straight stitch. We stitch the sides. One more thing, the thread may come out from the side. So what I do, I turn to zigzag and uh, the length of the stitch, I turn to the double stitch. So this way, this machine has overlock stitch also. So either I can use that, but I prefer this stitch better because this is stronger. So, and it is easier also. The machine is fast enough with this stitch. So I use this stitch so the thread doesn't come out because uh, I sold off my serger. I didn't want so many machines. I right now I'm having only two machines, but they are doing pretty well for me. So the other side, first I make that zigzag stitch on the side to overlock the side because the machine is set on this stitch and once it is done I will make a straight stitch on the side so you can do either way either you bind the ends and then make a straight stitch so I set it back to a straight stitch and now it is straight, sti straight stitch on the side It is done. Now the last part and the final thing is to insert the elastic. See I earlier I have shown many ways how you can insert an elastic easiest to the slightly you know expert kind of but uh, here I show you how I do it. This elastic elastic is one fourth of an inch wide but you can keep it more or less as you want. So you simply fold this 
elastic part the fabric left up fold it from all sides and front back on the sides i used a pin to secure it in place then uh, pull the elastic make a stitch to keep it in place join it see it is done and after this see if you have a small small pieces of elastic you can use that also earlier i sh i shared one video how to use the small pieces of elastic you can check that out if you want it just uh, let me know in the description box and i'll share it with you okay so here inside the elastic goes and we fold the this fabric from the top but make sure that you don't stitch on the elastic only stitch on the fabric fold so the elastic goes inside but we are stitching on the fabric and using the same method you can put elastic in any of your pajama or shorts or skirt or palazzo all the videos are shared and some different tips and different methods are shared there so if you want some other method that i have shared here maybe you can let me know i'll share in the description or in the comment section well keep your finger on the elastic so you know that where the elastic is and where your stitching is going it is easy you know it seems for the beginners they may feel that how would we get to know where is the elastic but when in reality when you stitch it is easier to follow through the elastic using your fingers you can feel that and one more thing when because the elastic is only 24 inch whereas your waist would be about here it is 28 inch and uh, the hip size is hip size is 38 inch okay so 38 inch so in that case the elastic should be stretched to at least 38 inch so that you can wear this panty easily right so be careful about that that the elastic stretches that much okay now it is done so stretch the elastic well and spread the fabric well on the maximum length and maximum width of stitching make a stitch a long stitch straight stitch on the thread why we are doing it we are doing it so that the thread or the elastic stays in place it doesn't turn it doesn't move and it gives a neat look the benefit of keeping this elastic 4 inch less than your waist is when you pull the elastic now the elastic would not be stretched beyond your measurement or waist measurement so it will fit you well right i tried to explain things in detail and i'm sure you will find it comfortable and easy to make it if you don't have this machine you can use a straight stitch machine no problem you can use a bias tape if you don't want to pico so it is done it is a low waist panty which you can make for yourself for the baby for the kids just use the measurement right and the bottom side 
of this panty. Keep that. That should be 4 inch after finishing. So see it is nicely done and you can use craft fabrics to make it. So take care. Goodbye.